Hi guys, Tech Spark here with another video review, and this time we're looking at the Creo Transformers Rotor Rage. Well, basically, this is like a set you can get um, from. Well, I got this from B and M's Creo. It's a crit set. Basically, you get the transformer, you get three little Creons, and a little motorcycle quad thing. Um, this is the box. It's your basic box. I'm gonna show. Lamp. I'm not show too much of it. Here's the front. Here's the back. I'm telling you, and this is not this is not a converting one. This is one I actually have to build them, and I'll explain that later. It comes with a quest for energon crystal thing, which is uh, I don't know what that is, but anyway, it's like an engine piece. The thing on the back, two in one. And basically, when you open it up, you get. Like I've already built this, you get a sticker sheet obviously, you get all of them in the baggies and you get an instruction booklet as well with some other transformers on there. I've already got the Battlefield Ender Drone set and it's just the other ones I need to get. Yeah, well that's basically it. We'll have a look at the actual figure itself. I use the Creo set, open up and have this packaging. Um, we have Vortex in rope mode for the moment. Um, but basically this is what you get. You have the quad bike here with the Creon on it you have another Creon SWAT and then you have actually a Creon of Vortex himself which is is pretty cool you know. Proxy, there you go, pretty cool head and everything I don't know much of, uh, of Vortex, I don't know what this is based off of I think it's supposed to be based from the G1 but I can't remember Vortex in G1 to be honest, but I know he's a helicopter and everything, but it looks pretty cool. You got the nice shaped helmet there, which reminds me of Soundwave, the head. Um, whoops, he's got you do have the choice of the the torso area to be painted or in Energon. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll just show you this is the Energon, here's the Energon one with the Energon piece. And here's the one with the painted chest. Well, you can't really see much because of the piece on the back, but I'll just quickly remove this, like so. Basically, all these just build together. You see, it's pretty easy. Well, it's pretty stiff. There we go. Basically, these toss the different toss you can get. Zoom it in a bit. Let's zoom in, focus. Progress. There you go. And you can see he's painted pink and as he painted up and, and you see the energy is just a see through ish plastic. Which the reason I have two two figures is because I bought two of them and I'll explain that later. And that's a little Creos for Vortex. Pretty cool. Yeah, oh and he has a spinny blade on the back as well. And one null ray. Um, don't know why he's only got one, but he's got one null ray. And I don't think he actually had the null ray, to be honest. Then he comes with the SWAT Creo. He's basically a SWAT. I don't know if this is a good guy or a bad guy. If it's focusing. Probably. There you go. There you go. He's got some detail on the front. You've got, he's got an, an assault rifle. And he has flip down goggles as well. So you can go, oh, see. Same articulation along through Lego style articulation. And then you have another Creo on top of here, which is kind of like a dubbing Power Ranger. Focus. It's very difficult to focus because the Vortex is there. There you go. You can see he's got like rider st uh, Dirt Rider style, and he has a flip down visor as well. Some detail in there, and he comes with a grenade launcher. Very hard to see because it's all black, but there is some molding detail in there, and he can hold that. According to the instructions, he holds that. And then you have the quad bike, which does not transform, but it does have a gun on the back, which you can spin around. But be careful because these things aren't attached properly. I don't have to explain. These Lego-ish style things, so 
and you've got some stickers you apply which is on all four of these wheel wells and it does not want to focus in today I think it's the colours again four rubber tyres and it does roll quite nicely providing you've got the wheels on properly it does roll a little bit stiff but it does roll and like I said you can put the different um, creels on it has to stand up on there and you can put the different creels on there and there you go now that we've looked at the creels we'll actually look at the big guy himself now he is pretty tall I mean put it all the way back you can't, you can't really see you can just about fit on camera just my stand a bit flipping weird but here he is um, pretty big uh, the only th like I said all through Creos the only thing that I don't like the fact that you have, you've only got enough to build either the robot or the vehicle mode that's why I have bought two of them they were cheaper you know, five ninety nine, really cheap so I just to get two of them um, robot mode really cool again I can't think of what Vortex looks like in robot mode but it's a lot of elements on this that are on the Megatron one um, and I'll compare that later on size comparisons here is Vortex and here is Age of Extinction Constructor Con Grimlock with Optimus Prime and as you can see they're round about the sort of same size same size um, although Vortex is a little bit bigger uh, but bulkier that is um, yeah um, let's do a few of those here he is with all the helicopter transformers that I own and it's got a bit, you got Springer what's his name, what's his name, the guys here so just get a size comparison here if I get my lamp as you can see there and here he is with my other Creo transformers we have Megatron, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee and it fits in pretty well although um, Megatron is knees are bent but him and Megatron are pretty much the same size as Optimus Prime and obviously one will be smaller um, look pretty good together, it's really cool um, on the shell, pretty cool um, I'll just show the comparison between Megatron and him now I've got Megatron straightened up now you can, see, you can see a really similar sort of construction for Megatron and Vortex as you can see around the chest area you've got these pieces here, there, the Decepticon logo thing is the same round here so it's pretty much the same, the crotch piece is the same the same mould the legs are constructed very very similar to Megatron as well not complaining, it's just an observation um, look at the back as well they're basically constructed the same, like Optimus Prime is construction his torso construction is different to these two although the legs are Actually, his legs as well are, are thing as well. Actually, they're the back comparisons as well. All in all, still a good figure, and you understand why it's similar. It saves a bit of money. All in all, uh, Vortex its road mode is pretty cool. Um, the purple and the uh, the sound color pretty cool. Like I said, I can't remember what Vortex looked like or anything. I know the Wolf is Cybertron one, but Vortex. I don't know. I just is it Wolf is Hypertron? Oh never mind, I don't know. Vortex, I can't remember the G1 Vortex, what he looked like. Sorry for the car going past, I apologise. But I don't know. The articulation for this guy is exactly the same as the others. Very it has posability but it's very difficult to pose him. He's got ball joint in the shoulder, ball joint in the elbow but very difficult without snapping things off his fingers do articulate with this piece got probably his thumb same on this side same articulation he has ball joints in his hips I'm not going to move them because it'll just make the thing fall apart and again in his knees and in his feet he gets some possibility um, I don't see anything really wrong with it apart from moving it but that's basically the Lego figures although his feet They've skimped on the design of the feet, it's just basically blocks stuck together and stuck at the bottom of his feet. Not like Optimus or Megatron, they sort of mold, they sort of look like feet, they're just like blocks. But I'm just nitpicking now. 
He does have weapon on each arm. He has a, well, I'm guessing this is a flamethrower on this side, which I've just taken it off again. He's on like a ball joint so you can move that left and right. So it's probably probably a, a um, flamethrower. I'm just stick that back on again. Problem with Lego pieces. Wow, that piece I was just putting back on there didn't want to go on, and every time I put it on, pieces fell off. That's the problem with Lego robots, they just don't want to stick together unless the constructor co constructor box that they brought out. Brilliant. It's, it's very difficult for robots to, to stay together. But anyway, that's me ranting about. He has a weapon on this side, uh, which is basically, I think it's two missile launchers. They don't come out, it just pulls off the little stick on Lego. Creo, not Lego, sorry. Um, it, that's it, there's nothing else. But it's pretty cool, and there's only a handful of pieces that don't go on here. But yeah, oh, and he has the things that do move. Careful with this piece because it does flop off. Apart from that, root mode's okay, apart from the articulation. So, this is robot mode. And obviously this is his vehicle mod. Um, I haven't actually built this. There's actually two separate pieces I've, I've built, but it just looks dynamic when I do dynamic when I do this. But anyway, vehicle mod looks a lot better and is more cohesive as a Lego Creo figure um, or toy. Um, there he is. I don't know what type of helicopter he is, but it looks really really cool. Um, Again, you can see a lot of the elements from Robot Mode put into here, like this piece is a chest piece. Um, again, you've got his flamethrower on gun when you look over there. Missiles across here. It does have this rope piece which goes in Robot Mode, but it's the first one was right, but the second one was such a pain in the ass to put on. Um, my, my fingers are too big, so I had to get my girlfriend to, to tie all this on. Yeah, she'll tie it on, it's like a string. Um, but uh, it's okay. Um, I ain't put it in the robot mode. But again, you've got all design elements on here which look pretty cool. You've got these pieces here look pretty cool. The wing at the back. It just, for some reason, when you make robots out of Lego, it just don't want to stick together. Like when you were a kid and made robot Lego stuff yourself, it just didn't stick together. Um, you have the missile launchers here are actually on ball joints, so you can get them to move wherever you want to, different positions, which look pretty cool. Uh, again, this is still on a ball joint on the bottom here, if you can see it without me. There, ball joint on there. The details look pretty cool. You've got the, the canopy here on the inside, I don't know if you can see it on the inside. You have a flight stick on the inside of there. I'm going to just. There, there it is. Flight stick on there, it's just pretty cool. You've got bright pink underneath there. And again, his rotors do move. And the right the back moves. It just looks really good. There's no other gimmicks in this apart from the missiles, which you can probably just pull off and pretend you've launched it at somebody. But yeah, you can move these out of the way. And actually, I'll put that on the side. Move these out of the way. And you can... But in order to get a Creo thing in there, you have to pull the roof piece off, which is a pain in the ass. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, pull the rotors off and then come here carefully. Pull off this section of the roof and then get your Creo dude without pulling his arm off. The ball joint's out loose, it's just me, I'm being a bit rough. Basically, bend him, shake him, any way you want him. Stick him in there, stick his butt down, put this piece back on, get him in properly, get that kind of thing out of the way, have a look. Stick on. Yes. On there like that. Put the canopy back on. And then roof back on. And then you can put the rotors back on. And then you have a, a Creo inside vortex. You can see. You can just about see it. It's just lights really. There you go. You can see him. There he is. So you can spin around someone inside Vortex, uh, spinning around, and this acts like a hook thing, so you can get another Creo to hook on 
into it. It's got a lot of play value for it, but for a collector, um, it's not really. It looks pretty cool, you can hook people on there. Um, it's pretty cool. There's nowhere to store the weapon, though, when you should just throw it in there, but that's basically it. Uh, we'll do the size comparison with the other guys in vehicle modes. Here's Vortex in the vehicle mode, and here is Optimus Prime and Megatron in vehicle mode. And you can see the man but blue have spilt some more there, so I apologize. And you see they look pretty cool together. Um, I think the r scale right in uh, vehicle mode as well, because well, even though it's a Cybertron time, but a tank is around about the same size as a semi truck and around about the size of a helicopter, so. Pretty cool, I think. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna try and look for more of these guys, but I think it's been, these have been out for for a few years now. So, but a lot of Transformers fans don't mind, and I've just pulled Megatron's cannon off. Uh, don't like the Creos for some reason, but I think they're ingenious. But if the fact you could build them like this and then transform them, it'd be good. It's just basically it's. Uh, a really over exaggerated parts former basically but yeah. in all if you really like building stuff like Lego and stuff like that I definitely recommend getting this um, I also recommend that you have enough for two of them so you can have one in vehicle mode and one in robot mode but that's just a personal preference but I definitely recommend getting this if you like construction stuff there's a lot of play value for children on this as well like with the, the Creos and stuff and with the blind flag Creos you can add more things to it with actually buying the big, big massive things. I don't know if you can get this in places like Argos or anything like that, but I know you can get it in B&M's. So if you're in England and there's a B&M's and you want this, it should be there. Um, if not, you can try Amazon, eBay, anything like that, and you should get them to a pretty decent price. But I do recommend this for children and stuff. Now, for collectors, it depends, because I've known some collectors online who like Lego, but they don't like Creo. Uh, don't know why, because they're basically the same principle, apart from one's Korea and one's Lego. But, yeah, if you're a Transformers fan, like a normal Transformers fan, this is not for you, because you'll just get frustrated the fact that you can't transform it, and that's it. But if you're actually a diehard Transformers fan, and a construction fan with Lego and stuff, I definitely recommend getting this. Um, pretty cool. I'm going to try and collect the other guys. Um, so, yeah. Tell me what you think of this review if you liked it. Even if you didn't like it, just comment what you think. But anyway, pretty cool. The Creole thing was an ingenious way, but the way they had it, it didn't. And when they brought out the construct bots, they had the great idea, but they didn't execute that well either. So it's kind of if they both match this and construct bots together, they've got something. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.